Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial video. In the last two videos, I talked about how to make your own brushes in Affinity Photo. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can click the link here. So after I uploaded that video, I was making free brushes that I shared with you guys. And in the progress of making it, I realized that I didn't explain some important things about how to make brushes in Affinity Photo. So today's video is the second part of how to make brushes in Affinity Photo. I will just add two things for you. Okay, let's get started. So I will create a new canvas first. As you already know, there are two ways to edit your brush. Okay, you can right click on your brush and then click edit brush. Or you can click more button here. So what is the difference? This edit brush option is to edit the default settings of your brush and more button here is the upper side you can edit your brush settings here but it's uh, temporary it's not permanent so after you change your brush settings here and then you switch to use other brush and then you want to use this brush again all the settings here is gonna be back to default okay so I will change the setting And then I switch to use this grass brush and then I want to use stop brush again as you can see the settings here is back to default again okay and next if you want to make your photo into brush as you already know you can click this new image brush but you cannot change the color so you can click new intensity brush instead Let's say that I want to make this orange into brass. So I have already removed the background. I will export to PNG. And then new intensity brass. Okay, now I can use this brush, but as you can see, the color is a little transparent, but the texture is still there. Okay, and now you can change the color as well. So, what if you want a solid color? Okay, so you have to change this orange into black, solid black. Okay go to adjustments we have a lot of options here you can use levels HSL recolor black and white or exposure or curves I'm gonna go with HSL and then save it export to PNG Okay, so as you can see, it looks like this, but we cannot see the texture anymore like before. Okay, so it's up to you which one you want to use. And as you already know, this is my free nature brush package. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can watch the video here. And then click the link in the description to download this free brush package. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.